Montenegro. A land of stunning beauty and abundant cultural heritage. This small but captivating gem has something to offer everyone, making it a popular destination for adventure seekers, hikers, nature lovers, and families alike. For adventure enthusiasts, Montenegro is a mecca, with its rugged terrain providing endless opportunities for adrenaline-pumping activities. Meanwhile, for hiking enthusiasts, Montenegro is a paradise with its well-maintained trails that lead through stunning scenery, including dense forests, alpine meadows, and rocky peaks. The country's hospitality and friendly locals also make it a welcoming destination for families, with many accommodations catering to the needs of children and parents alike. Let's hike to the highest peaks, dive into the deepest oceans, and then return to the plainlands so that nothing is unexplored here. First, we hike to the top of the famous Dermiter Mountain Range to explore the Dermiter National Park. It's known for its stunning mountain landscapes, including 18 glacial lakes, canyons, and dense forests. One of the most remarkable features of the Dermiter National Park is its intricate system of canyons and gorges formed by the erosion of limestone and dolomite rocks over millions of years. The most famous of these natural wonders is the Terra River Canyon, also known as the Grand Canyon of Europe the deepest canyon in Europe and the second deepest canyon in the world after the Grand Canyon in the US. This canyon stretches over 80 kilometers, with towering cliffs reaching over one kilometer of height in some places. You can explore the canyon by taking a rafting tour all down the Terra River, admiring the dramatic scenery and the crystal clear waters at the same time. Another highlight of the Dermider National Park is its diverse wildlife, which includes brown bears, wolves, lynx, chamois, and various bird species such as golden eagles and peregrine falcons. The park also boasts a rich botanical heritage with over 1,300 species of plants, some endemic to the area. One of the most notable plant species is the Dernwider violet, a rare and endangered flower that grows only in the high altitude meadows of the park. For nature lovers, the National Park is a paradise of discovery and exploration, 
where every turn reveals a new marvel of the natural world. Number two. Next, we hop to the Dermider mountain range to the sheer cliffs where the Ostrog Monastery is situated. The Ostrog Monastery is not only a place of pilgrimage for believers, but also a unique architecture marvel. The complex comprises of two main churches, an open-air chapel and several small caves and hermitages. The upper monastery, perched on the sheer face of a cliff, is the main attraction and requires a steep climb up a narrow path carved into the rock. The views from the top are breathtaking, and the sense of peace and spirituality that permeates the air is palpable. The Ostrich Monastery has played a significant role in the history and culture of Montenegro itself, and its influence extends far beyond its walls. It has inspired countless poets, artists, and writers, and has been the site of many important events and gatherings. Every year on May 19th, on the feast day of St. Basil of Ostrich, thousands of pilgrims worldwide converge on the monastery to pay homage to the saint and receive his blessings. The celebration is a vibrant and colorful affair with music, dancing, and traditional food and drink. It's a place of testament to the enduring power and appeal of this remarkable place. Number three, now we take off to Lufsen National Park located just a short drive from Montenegro's capital city of Podgorica. The park offers visitors a breathtaking experience of natural beauty, of history, and of cultural significance. The park is named after Mount Lovsen, which towers over the surrounding landscape and offers incredible panoramic views of the sea and the surrounding mountains. Explore the park's rugged terrain on foot with numerous hiking trails leading to viewpoints, waterfalls, and caves. For those seeking more leisurely experience, there are also scenic drives through the park, passing through picturesque villages, historic monuments, and dense forests. One of the park's most iconic features is the Negos Mausoleum, a striking monument honoring Montenegro's most celebrated leader, Peter II Petrovic Negos. Perched on the peak of Mount Lovsen, this mausoleum offers stunning views of the surrounding landscape and is considered one of the country's most important cultural landmarks. You can climb the steep steps to the top of the mausoleum, where you can pay your respects and take in the breathtaking views from the observation deck. Number four, we hike further up the mountains, the region of Bajalisica, where the Gora National Park is nestled amongst the most pristine and untouched wilderness areas in Montenegro. The park's centerpiece is the stunning lake, a glacial lake surrounded by towering mountains and dense forests. The lake is crystal clear and has a bright emerald green color and visitors can take a boat ride or hike around the perimeter to fully appreciate its natural beauty. The park is also home to several hiking trails of various difficulty levels, offering visitors the chance to explore the park's stunning landscapes and encounter diverse flora and fauna along the way. for those looking for a more immersive experience. The Gore National Park offers several overnight options, including rustic mountain huts and campsites. You can also participate in guided tours or hire local guides for a more 
personalized and informative experience. Number five, let's muster all of our strength and dive headfirst into the Bay of Kotor, a true gem of Montenegro, offering stunning landscapes and rich cultural heritage. The breathtaking natural wonder is considered one of the most beautiful bays in the world, featuring rugged mountains and crystal clear waters that reflect the surrounding scenery like a crystal clear mirror. The bay has numerous picturesque towns and villages, each with distinct charm and character. The Bay of Kotor is known for its stunning beauty and rich history, but also for its underwater treasures. Snorkeling and diving in the bay provide a unique opportunity to swim with diverse wildlife that inhabit the area. The bay's clear and calm waters offer excellent visibility, making it a perfect destination for novice and experienced divers. There are several diving centers located in the area that offer various courses and tours for all levels. Divers can explore underwater caves, shipwrecks, and reefs, home to different fish, crustaceans, and other sea creatures. You can also enjoy a close-up view of the colorful marine life without having to dive deep. Number six, let's swim over to Budva, which is located in the Adriatic coast and is one of Montenegro's most popular tourist destinations. The city is known for its charming old town and lively nightlife. The picturesque old town surrounded by ancient walls is a labyrinth of narrow streets, alleyways, and squares dotted with historic buildings, shops, restaurants, and cafes. You can wander around the town's ancient buildings and historic monuments, including the Church of St. John and the Citadel. The Citadel, located at the top of the hill, offers breathtaking panoramic views of the town and the surrounding coastline. Budva is also famous for its beaches, some of the most beautiful beaches worldwide. The town boasts over 35 stunning beaches, ranging from secluded covers to lively sand-lined stretches with bars, restaurants, and shops. Slovenska Plaza is a long sandy beach with plenty of water sports there, including parasailing, jet skiing, and windsurfing. Mogren Beach is located just outside the old town and is known for its crystal clear waters and dramatic cliffs. Jazz Beach, located a few kilometers west of Budva, is a popular spot for music festivals and concerts, attracting thousands of visitors annually. Like in the video? Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications by clicking the bell icon so you never miss any of our epic travel videos and vlogs. Your next adventure awaits, let's go. Surfing on, we have number seven. We move to Ada Bohana, a unique natural wonder in Montenegro. It's an island located in the mouth of the Bohana River, which flows into the famous Adriatic Sea. This island is a popular destination for windsurfers and kite surfers, known for its constant winds and perfect waves. It's also an excellent spot for swimming and sunbathing, 
with its sandy beaches and crystal clear water. One of the most exciting features of Adva Bohana is its thrilling naturalist community. The naturalist beach is well organized and features facilities such as sun loungers, umbrellas, and beach bars. Lastly, we have number eight. We move on to the plain lands to explore Skadar Lake, the Balkans' largest freshwater lake, spanning over 320 kilometers square and shared by Montenegro and Albania. The lake's crystal clear waters are home to 40 species of fish and a diverse range of bird life, including pelicans, herons, and eagles. Be sure to take a boat and tour the lake to appreciate the serene beauty of the surrounding mountains and explore the picturesque villages and monasteries nestled on its shores. For a more active adventure, go kayaking or canoeing on the lake. Immerse yourself in this stunning scenery and experience the tranquility of this natural oasis. The lake also offers excellent fishing opportunities with carp, eel, and trout among the most common catches. Whatever the activity, Skadar Lake is an ideal destination for small families, nature lovers, and outdoor enthusiasts seeking to reconnect with the natural world. All right, friends, remember to like and subscribe and hit the bell notification button so that you never miss any of our epic videos. Also, be sure to check out one of these top videos from our channel by clicking on their thumbnail. We'll see you soon.